Hey everyone, it's June 7th, and that means that if today is your birthday, you share with George Lott, a multiple murderer who shot up a Texas courthouse in 1992, and that is him right up there. Born in Oklahoma in 1947, Lott was the son of an army officer who served in Italy until he got polio and returned to the States. The family moved to Fort Worth, Texas, where Lott attended a military academy from which he graduated in 1966 before attending Southern Methodist University. He served in Korea during the Vietnam War, then attended law school at the University of Texas, becoming an attorney in 1981. Lott got married in 1985 and fathered a son by his wife, settling in Arlington where his wife worked as a professor of computer science. Becoming disillusioned with the law, he quit the bar in 1986 and his wife divorced him the next year. After firing three attorneys, he decided to represent himself in the divorce, which is always a great idea if the only alternative is using Amber Heard's lawyers. He applied for 150 jobs in less than a year, not being hired at any of them, so he lived off an inheritance he received when his grandparents passed away. Unsurprisingly, Lot's wife came out on top in the divorce, with the only salt being from the tears he shed when he learned he had to pay $1,000 a month in alimony. She moved with their son to Peoria, Illinois, hometown of both Jack Nicholas and my friend Jeremy Paul. While there, she took Lot to court when their son complained that he had been abused by his father, and he lost visitation rights in the ensuing court proceedings. After placing a call to a Texas radio station to complain about the court system, Lott was openly disdainful of the entire legal system. On the morning of July 1st, 1992, Lott sat in a courtroom watching the proceedings. Just after 10 a.m. that day, Lott arose, took a 9mm pistol from his briefcase, and began shooting. He emptied the clip, calmly reloaded, and began shooting again. When he was done, two persons lay dead in the courtroom and three others had also been shot. Lott ran out of the building and began driving around in his van. He drove to the studio of WFAA-TV in Dallas and asked to speak with Tracy Rowlett, a longtime anchor. Rowlett began to interview him, and on camera he admitted to everything he had done, saying, I basically went in the courtroom and sat for a while, and then got up and shot apparently five people. I was shooting at the court, essentially, but other people got in the way or did things. You have to do a horrible, horrible thing to catch people's attention. The police rushed to the station, where Lott handed over his gun and ammunition and surrendered himself. Lott was quickly convicted and sentenced to death, making his case the second most hated application of the death penalty to the SMU community. After refusing to appeal his case, Lott was executed in 1994. Due in part to this incident, courthouses now have much stricter security procedures, including the use of metal detectors, since it makes too much sense to do anything else to prevent public shootings. If this is your birthday, I hope you have a great day! Leave me a comment so I can wish you a happy birthday. If you know somebody whose birthday it is today, send them this video so they can find out all about their birthday twin. And to George Lott, I say, happy birthday, you bastard.